in computer science, one of the first things you should realize is that there's always more than one way to achieve your result. So we're going to look at a different way using something called arrays. Now an array is essentially what we were looking at for a list. It's just a variable that stores more than one item. So we're going to create an array and we're going to use that uh, to store our different items. So to do that, we go to our variables and we're going to make a variable. So I'm going to call this one an array of images. So we now have that variable array of image. Now, when we shake our program, we're going to select one of those items, which of course means before we can actually use and select one of those items, we have uh, to actually create them. So we go back to our array section and we're going to set these uh, to our images. So here, you know, so we always start counting at zeros for arrays. We've got zero, one, and a, now I've got a three item array. Uh, so I'm then going to go to something and we're going to use our images. So slightly different. And I'm going to grab where it says the icon image. So in position number zero, I'm going to have my scissors. And I'm going to right click and duplicate it so I don't have to drag it out again. So I'm going to have my scissors. I'm going to have my rock. And I'm going to have uh, my paper. I got to make sure that instead of setting it to list, you're setting it to your array. So when my program starts, it creates an array of images. So the image at location number zero is scissors. Location number one is my rock. Location number two is my paper. So then when I shake it, I want to make sure that I'm displaying that one of my images. So to do that, I go down to my images again, and there should be a show image. And the offset, if it's at zero, just means that it's centered on the screen. So I want to grab my, well, I want one of my arrays, or one of my images. So I'm going to go to my array, and I'm going to set it. I want to actually use it. So I want to get one of my values. And of course, it's not a list, it's my array of images. So here, we've got a showing your image. So it's quite a bit of a bit more complicated to read, but once you get the hang of it, you're fine. When we shake it, we're showing an image, and that image is from our array of images at location zero. So when we shake it, we should see our scissors. If we change that to location one, we'll then see our rock. And if we change that to location two, we'll then see our paper. There we go. Um, but just like in the other video, we don't want to always be the same image. So we can go to our math again and we can grab a random value. So we can drop that in there. And so we want a random value from zero to two because real computer scientists start counting at zero. So this code, uh, when it starts it, just to recap, we create an array of images. An array is just a variable that holds more than one item. It, at position number zero, it holds the image of our scissors. At position one, it shows the image of our rock. Position number two is the image of our paper. In our game, when we shake your micro bit, it shows the shows an image. So that's a block that grabs an image, and it grabs it from an array of images. Oh, and that's why you double check uh, at a random value from zero to two. So anytime I run this now, when I shake it, you'll get. A different image so same outcome different way to code it